All right, and we are live. Hello, Seminole State family. This is Nicole from the library, and we are doing a quick chat today about the Social Sciences Video Contest. And with me today are our social science faculty. We have Hillary Dickens, Rebecca Padilla, and Modupe Soremi. So thank you ladies for joining us today. And we're doing this again because obviously we had, uh, some people will uh, remember, we had the social sciences video contest last fall and we're doing it again. Um, and we're, the library is really excited to support uh, this contest and um, what the department is doing. Um, now I'll turn it over to Rebecca to start out. Um, who's gonna talk about how this contest got started in the first place. Thank you, Nicole, and thank you so much for having us back this semester to continue promoting this amazing event. So thank you so much for having us. Um, just, um, I'm just gonna talk really briefly on why the initiative started through the department. So um, back in July, um, Dr. Saremi actually shared with the social science department the work of the Joint Action Committee, which was interested in looking at greater equity and greater understanding around issues of race. If, you don't know, the Joint Action Committee actually met over the summer after the death of George Floyd or murder of George Floyd in May of 2020 to talk about how we can take first steps at our campus to, um, I don't know, kind of create events to promote um, issues of racial justice on the campus. And our department was very open to what the Joint Action Committee was doing and wanted to do something as a faculty to address these issues sort of in-house. And of course, the social sciences are uniquely placed because whether you're looking at disciplines, and I'm just gonna cover a few, there's more disciplines in our department, but political science, economics, psychology, sociology, um, these social sciences play an unique role in helping people understand both the individual and society from these different angles. Um, and you can't look at race from just a macro or a micro level. You really need both um, lenses. So getting students to engage with these issues through a social science lens um, is, is very critical in helping them see these issues in a critical and unique way going forward. So it started in-house. Our department is 100% behind us. And I know the ladies are also going to talk about what we did in the fall and also what we plan to do going forward this semester as well. And if you guys want to fill in anything I missed, please fill in. Okay. And so the prompt this spring is how to be, uh, what does it mean to be anti-racist, correct? And remind yes. me what the prompt was in the fall. The, um, I'll, I'll talk about the, the one from last semester. Okay. Uh, the prompt in the fall, was um, trying to bridge the racial divide. So okay. it was um, in the era of racial and ethnic divide, how do we bridge the gap? It may seem overwhelming or even impossible to bridge what divides us. Today's narratives like us versus them are commonplace, but this serves only to perpetuate notions of racial otherness. And the main goal with the video contest was to encourage students to start having some of those uncomfortable conversations. Um, any kind of change has to start at the individual level with a conversation. So we were really hoping that students would take the opportunity to reach out uh, and have conversations with family members, with coworkers, with students, with anybody that they could find that would be willing to talk to them about the topic. And based on our results, it seemed pretty successful. We had 99 video submissions. Uh, we had over 200 people attend the uh, social science hour and the video award ceremony. Um, we had fantastic videos. They, they, were, they were creative. They were you know, insightful. Some of the questions as I'm watching the video, I'm going, oh my goodness, I can't believe the student just asked that question. And then at the same time, I'm going, yes, the student just asked that question. <laughs> so it, it was really neat to see some of the questions that were asked and the willingness of the students to just kind of put themselves out there and 
ask the questions. So we looked at it as something that was just ridiculously successful in the fact that it got students talking. At least 99 students had a conversation that they wouldn't have had without the video contest. And even one conversation is a win in my opinion. So to have 99 just uh, blows me away. It's, it's, it was just fantastic. And we were so proud of the accomplishment that you know, the entire department and, and our students and the support of our faculty and staff were able to, uh, to do last semester. Nice. And in addition to, you know, this being a, a wonderful opportunity for students to engage with these, this initiative and these conversations that are important and life-changing, they also get the bonus if they place in the top three, like icing on the cake, uh, tuition, uh, uh, they win money towards tuition. Is that correct? That's happening again this spring? Yes. First place is a three credit course, which is about $313. Second place is $150, which is about half a course. And then third place is $50, which hopefully can buy you about half a textbook, but we'll, you know, it, and it is, it's, it, it's, you know, it, it's, what we were able to do and it gives students just that little bit of a push that may be on the fence to go ahead and try it just to see if they could, you know, win. But it wasn't about the winning, it was about the conversation, which was just fantastic. Yes. And you mentioned um, the creativity of the fall submissions and there uh, on the, um, the webpage for the contest, which is an established page that um, stays the same. The URL stays the same uh, all the time. So students can see information about the current contest. We'll post a link to that after we post this video. And um, they can also see the previous submissions, which they'll find are very creative, lots of different formats. There's uh, the opportunity is here for them to be to kind of go in whatever creative direction they want to while addressing uh, the prompt. And um, so this spring uh, to speak about the prompt and uh, what's going on this spring, uh, Dr. Sarami. Hi, Nicole, thank you hey. once again. So we're still very excited on the topic and in support of the Joint Action Committee and what Seminole State is doing in supporting racial equity. We are still pursuing on the same topic and um, the topic for this spring is what does it mean to be anti-racist? So we've heard about I'm racist, I'm not racist, but we've never heard about anti-racist. So we want students to pursue this topic. Um, we've collaborated with the library. The prompt is up on our social science website and right there, they can actually access the library for more resources, um, scholarly resources to guide them in that defining what it is to be an anti-racist. We want them to have an example about what is, it is actually to be an anti-racist. What can you do in, that, in pursuing that topic? So the video should be between three to five minutes length like you said, they can go in whichever format that they want to go. However, they have to support the argument with scholarly um, article or source. Um, um, what else? It's due on March 15th, which is the very Monday after spring break. So they have the whole spring break to explore. Um, and not until 11.59 p.m. on March 15th, correct? So adding that, um, 11.59 p.m. Um, the award, you've already mentioned the award, the top place um, will get $313.14 towards a course, three credit hour, um, hours class. The second place we have 150 and the third place $50. $50. Again, the winner, we have an award ceremony that we will discuss later for the winner, but we encourage all our students to participate in pushing this forward about racial equity for all. Um, 
So that's what is happening in the spring. And we're excited. We're looking forward to seeing the video entry this semester to see what they have for us. We, we have them. <laughs> yes. Um, so once again, the due date is March 15th, 11.59 p.m. That is the Monday after spring break. And students will need to be prepared to sign into Canvas, which I'm sure they're pretty adept at at this point, <laughs> they know their password, uh, to log into Canvas and submit the video there. And um, as uh, anyone that's going to be entering the contest should look at the guidelines on the web page. Um, even if you don't they don't find their way back to the link posted on uh, the library's Facebook. If you just Google social sciences video contest, Seminole State, you'll find the page um, because audio quality and the video quality and the, all those like little technical things are outlined there. So uh, serious submissions should definitely um, pay attention to all that. Um, there is a thorough rubric okay. as well that students can access so they know exactly what the judging criteria is and it's it, it's it's a it's a really good rubric, so it should be able to help them a lot. Okay. Well, is there anything else we missed? Yeah, Modupe, can you give them the date for the social science hour as well? Yes. So the social science hour is coming up April 9th. It's going to be at ten thirty a.m. The sign up link will be either on Radars Connect. They can get it through Canvas when they sign in for Canvas to complete the video contest. And we're gonna add it also to the social science um, webpage. It's not there yet, but hopefully today we will submit a ticket to have it added as well. Okay. And at the social science hour, we're gonna have a panel of social science faculty talking about what anti-racism is all about to get more information on that. And we're also going to be announcing the winners of the video contest. Wonderful. All right. Well, um, thank you, ladies, for um, inviting me and on behalf of the library to support this contest again this semester. Um, thank you to our Seminole State family for tuning in. And once again, check for those links on our Facebook. Um, and you can also, uh, once again, Google Social Sciences Video Contest Seminole State. You'll find it. It's there. Um, thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time. Thank, thank you, Nicole. Bye. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye.